uh, all of you. I will continue uh, on what and where I stopped. Uh, as you can see from the slide, that I talked a great deal of uh, you know content creation, preparation, and practice. And today I will go into more details of on stage performance. So you may have to watch me more closely than yesterday. What I am doing on stage, like of course you can see me like with one one hand on my hip and one hand inside my pocket and you may wondering what, what this guy is doing. All these are part of what we call as non-verbal communication. It is important to have a good relaxed non-verbal communication. If you are not relaxed, you cannot pay attention to non-verbal communication and at the end of the day the big question is that is where most of us are generally very worried that how will you have a relaxed mindset on stage and that that is going to be my uh, focus today. So on stage delivery tips as I said you are on stage and it is time to perform and the stage belongs only to you. Okay. With that in the backdrop that is that is actually an asset it is it is a feeling that you are on stage and you are given an opportunity to perform and this uh, lady on stage you can see with brightly lit stage and there are lot, lot of lot of this uh, if you are very careful lot of these lights which are pointing towards her as she performs some of these lights will come on and go off and there are it's it's a big stage and what you would notice as you zoom into this picture is that she can't see anyone absolutely nobody from the audience at least from this picture and to begin with when when you begin to perform on stage uh, in the first few minutes you won't see too many people and you know that your friends are sitting in the audience and your teachers may be sitting your principal may be sitting but you won't really recognize many of them because that that's a part of natural uh, the so called tension uh, driven or a tension tension packed time when first few minutes on stage. So, so let me start by saying what, what one would do in first few minutes on stage. The first thing, foremost important thing, believe that a scientific presentation is not a 100 meter dash. It is not a sprint race. It is something which has to be delivered effectively so that people get benefit out of listening to you. They came here to listen to a story and you should tell the story as best as you can. So if you walk to the stage like you know run, run to the stage actually what really happens is there is this rush of adrenaline, it is a hormone okay adrenaline is a hormone and adrenaline would equip any individual to deal with adverse situations, to deal with emergency, to deal with a given situation where it requires demands more energy to be spent. That is a natural reaction of the body to be able to help you overcome the given situation. The situation as you walk on the dais, walk to the stage is that you need more energy than you sitting in the audience you know with, with your hand like partly sleepy that does not require much energy. But when you are on stage you require more energy. To facilitate the release of more energy, body has a natural reaction. So if you are feeling when you walk up to the stage, if you are feeling that your heartbeat is increasing, nothing unusual, absolutely nothing unusual because it is bound to happen. And your body is getting better prepared that you can give a good talk on stage or better uh, prepared to give a good, good performance on stage and it is natural, nothing unusual. It's not do, do not combine this with the so called tension. Okay. Tension is a word which we want to you know, get rid of, we want to avoid or we want to minimize to say the least. So how do you do that? There are small little tips which I have been practicing and I found it very effective in my life. And that is a key reason why I have given the title of this talk as in, you know, uh, there are secrets of uh, learning process, there is a lot of secrets that you can like if I reveal my secrets how I became a speaker who can stand in any platform and speak to the audience, 
how did I become a speaker? Of course, uh, the first presentation I ever ma made was when I was a master student and I was talking to uh, my professors and my, my own uh, batchmates. We were supposed to give a seminar and uh, of course, I did mock presentations before the seminar and you know since that time, I have been learning and it is a continuous process. As you give more and more presentations in different platforms, in different stages, you are going to gain and that experience is what had helped me compile this set of slides. So, it is based on my experience over the years and I want to share with my fellow citizens in this country. Okay. So, uh, first key point on stage, do not rush to the stage, take so slow steps, walk slowly into the, uh, on, on the stage and with a smiling face. I do not think I have smiled uh, that big because uh, you know over here in the local center there are not too many people. I have more empty seats than pe people occupying seats. So, there is no point in smiling. If at all I smile, I may smile at some, uh, some empty seats. So, uh, in, a, in a large platform, when you walk up to the stage, give a, give a smiling face. Even though in the backdrop like my heartbeat, in, you know usually it is like 72 per minute if you are a healthy person and if you are athletic, you will have 60 per minute and on stage unusually these are like 80, 90 per minute, you know what is going on, uh, you know I am in control of myself. Keep in mind that this is very natural. If you do not have any increased heartbeat, if you do not have like cold palm etcetera, then like you are really great. Okay. Uh, I, have, I have never been so great, that I, I still have li little bit of, little bit of cold um, palm and uh, increased heartbeat as I walk on the stage. The smiling face is a way to greet and I do not want to show like how uh, you know broad you, broad you should smile, maybe that you can smile like you know like do not think that you whether you have you know brushed your day uh, in the morning or not that that is not the concern. Okay. So, you, sh you should present a pleasant face and that is the way to greet and we do not have in scientific uh, culture, we do not have this way of you know the politicians coming and we, we will not wave at them or we will not do the, do like this. That is not the practice in, in science and technology. So, we cannot do this uh, even though it is culturally very good in our country and we cannot do this waving hand like a politician. The way to greet is to present a pleasant face, okay, walk up to the stage uh, uh, you know with a pleasant face and uh, uh, of course, you can say good morning, good afternoon uh, and then first few minutes about 30 seconds, it is very, very critical, very important and most spe speakers you know increase their heartbeat uh, by not being able to manage first few seconds on stage. So, what you should do like you just check the caller mic if uh, you have one, talk very soft, okay. do not like talk like you know in the history of this country. That is not our style, right? We, we do not we don't, we don't talk like that. It is characteristic of politicians, characteristic of other domain people, you know. The, uh, we are not, we are not uh, designed to do that kind of speech straight away. Talk, start softly. This talking, talking soft also has an advantage. Many times, audience might have come back from a break, as in the present, in, in today's uh, context that you all have gone out for tea and came back and people are still settling in and the speaker has come on the stage and speaker would begin softly. When you, when you speak softly, the good part is that the audience would settle down very fast because they, they want to hear you and this is some, a, a, this is a technique which I use in uh, when I teach large classes. Okay, I have a special challenge here because this all these uh, so called smart people uh, who come through JE stream and they are like you know some of them have heavy head weight and all I do not care, but they, they come into the class and they think that oh I, I am in top uh, 100 JE ranks and you know I do not want to listen to you, I am disinterested, all kinds of folks are there in the class and of course, you know uh, people at the age of 16, 17 naturally they are naughty, right and you should understand that they are naughty and I am not bad either. So, what I do is that when, when the class begins to settle down, it you know I can tell you very, very frankly that if you say that hey keep quiet it is not going to work, it just will not work. If you are a teacher, you might have realized many times in, in your day to day life that you cannot, you 16, 17 year boys, boys and girls, if you tell them keep quiet, no, it is not going to work, even police can do. Okay. So, the best way to keep them quiet 
to begin your conversation, begin your talk, be it on a, on a, uh, on a stage as a teacher on, or as a researcher presenting your work, start speaking soft. Even though you have like very good voice, you have commanding voice, later on you can use it as you progress within, within you know first couple of minutes, minutes are very crucial. Because I said yesterday that you have to captive, you keep the attention focused on you, spoke, focused on the speaker. So, these are some of the tips that will help. So, the, the initial time, I know that your heartbeat is high, walk in slowly, check the caller mic and then many times you will uh, have this, uh, if I can go to the full video mode that will be nice. So, assume that you have, uh, this is a pointer. Uh, this is a pointer which you one would use for PowerPoint presentation. This is a laser pointer. Uh, of course, this is a pen, uh, but I am using it as a pointer. So, you would come uh, to the stage, uh, slides are all set, uh, take, the, take the pointer and then these are like first 30 seconds, 45 seconds, 1 minute, I said very crucial time, because heartbeat is still not normal. If it is not normal, you cannot speak well. Okay? You will think about so many other pitfalls. What can go wrong is the initial thought, which I do not want. I can only think how best I can do. So, if you start worrying about what can go wrong, things are not going to work. So, you will take the laser pointer and you know how to operate, but even then you will look at it as if you have invented. Oh, there is some fault with this, actually there is no fault. Okay. So, you will just point here, point here, you know while doing that, what you are gaining is you are gaining control over yourself on stage. Okay. It is very, very important that you spend first 20, 30 seconds on stage. Uh, you, you know, doing something you are comfortable doing, and then perhaps turn to the turn to the uh, slide and read the title of your talk. Art of giving a scientific presentation, and uh, of course you will say good morning, good afternoon, so on and so forth, and say that today I'm going to talk to you on art of scientific presentation. Slow, you know, art of scientific presentation, and I have some very interesting results I want to share with you. And by then, you know what happens? The heartbeat will normalize a regular, normal heartbeat. You are in full control of yourself, and you will realize that. Okay, you will realize that. But some people, some people are still tensed. Why they are tensed? Because they listen to others too many, too often. You know the so-called peer pressure. Peer pressure is very high in any domain. They keep listening to other people, and they are always worried about being judged always worried, like you know what will they think, oh I am not a great speaker, I do not know this English language, I, have, I make mistakes, all kinds of thoughts. Friends keep in mind that on stage you are not supposed to think about those outcomes. On stage it is time to perform and that is the only thing that should run through your mind. Okay. Now, so you have checked the uh, pointer, caller mic, read, uh, read the initial uh, title from the slide. And then suppose you are still tensed, what to do? You can't, you can't show this, this kind of expression, oh I am feeling cold and uh, you know. Then uh, there is this uh, technique like uh, uh, a tennis players would do, they take a deep breath. I do not know how fast this video would get transmitted, but uh, you know tennis players take deep breath to control, you know they are also tensed. When, when it is like you know ace or tie break or game point, they are all tensed. You know what they do, they, they take some time, why do they do this uh, tuck, tuck, tuck or uh, in, a, in a test match, batsman will go up to the leg bear and come back, why do they do that? Everybody while performing critical operations, they are tensed. Okay. So, you need to be able to manage your tension on stage, that is a key. Okay. You think that Tendulkar is greatest player in the world, but Tendulkar has his, his own technique. You have to watch Tendulkar in that perspective that he will in a test match typically, he will go uh, like a few yards towards the leg bear, come back and then you know you have all the typical actions of Tendulkar, many people imitate, my, many of my friends imitate Tendulkar. And these are, these are not, not natural, it is purposefully done, so that your heartbeat is normal. You do not want to take a fast delivery from uh, Glenn Magra without being very prepared, right? you do not want to take the risk. So, you take your time that is the key and in that is like all I am take, talking about is first 30 to 45 seconds. You cannot st stand like a statue, you have to perform. right? So, it, these are all techniques to come to normal and taking a deep breath, what I recommend turn to the 
turn to the uh, projector uh, projection screen okay turn to the projection screen and then take deep breath technically without you know uh, displaying that to the audience now you can't do this <laughs> you seriously you can't do this facing the audience so you turn to the and then take deep breath and read the title and come back and it's going to be just fine it's going to be fine it's all about knowing these techniques on stage and how to manage so now uh, you will soon feel that okay you have dry mouth okay tensed I, 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 you know some people would have dry mouth so take a bottle of water always carry a bottle of water whether the conference organizers provide or your college provides doesn't matter you carry your own safe bottle in fact you know tell you the truth there were there was no water bottle kept here and i i was just going on uh, you know looking where water bottle can be found i found from somewhere in this hall i just uh, stolen uh, this bottle and it's not opened so i can safely drink it so i i i want a bottle of water with me all the time when when i am on stage you know you can't be over confident that you are a great speaker therefore you don't need stage perhaps those people politicians on stage they don't need water they may not need water i have not seen too many people taking water on stage but in scientific presentation it's good to have a sip of water if you feel that your your throat is getting dry if your mouth is dry then you know the problem is these days microphones are so good that uh, if your mouth is dry the people can hear the tak 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 noise of your teeth hitting each other the mouth is dry this noise can be terrible okay i had a student few years back and i uh, trained her such that from starting from phd early days towards the finishing uh, finishing stages she became so well that uh, no more dry mouth she will take water as and when required so you uh, take water as much as i take right now and keep it back these are natural standard actions no special preparations required sir is there a way to take water no there is no way to take water you should continue to speak and you take water just take a pause as you gulp down the uh, you know sip of water that's all and then uh, the the dry mouth all these things must be addressed so now what we did we we are uh, the the speaker is on stage first 30 to 45 minutes he manages what he ha is supposed to manage heartbeats are normal everything nervousness has dropped down still it's nervous because you have high adrenaline level you are equipped to give a good presentation that is why it is still nervous now this is the key point do not worry about being judged when you are on stage okay do not worry if you are performing for 30 minutes only end of 30 minutes you will get a score 9 out of 10 oh great victorious or only end of 30 minutes you would know that you got only 5 out of 10 how does it matter so if you start worrying about i am going to get 5 out of 10 from the first minute you are going to make a mess of it so it's very very important that you should you should stop worrying about how you are going to be judged when you are on stage friends remember that when you are on stage stage belongs to you and only you and it's time to perform it's only performance that matters and you have done a good job in making the content uh, the preparation was very well you did mock presentation you practiced you have day dreamed about how to present and what sequence slides are coming and you have done everything that is possible before you came to the stage and how can you afford to mess up on stage isn't it a very valid thought that if you have done you have you have worked hard to make this presentation happen then how can you mess up on stage you should know how to deliver it so on stage delivery components and do your job as best as possible and uh, you 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 have an opportunity you you must begin to learn how to perform on stage and this it's a long and steady process don't think that you know by listening to my lecture tomorrow you are going to be uh, you know practicing everything as per what i said you i said that you should have the attitude to capture this and put it in practice the attitude is more important if you get a single message from my talk that okay this is something which i will implement i think i am successful as a speaker speaking to you now first one minute is over you did all that i recommended and then what about next few minutes usually it is the time of uh, introduction or outline that uh, you you are on on, uh, on in full control and then you start looking at the audience and i said that when the lady came on stage she couldn't see anybody she couldn't she couldn't see anybody because 
the lights are pointing towards her and uh, uh, lights are pointing towards her and it it's like very difficult to see and as you spend more time your your uh, retina will get adjusted and you will begin to see faces one minute elapsed and you begin to see faces from the audience and you know you you may in the early part of it you may think that okay uh, some people are very attentive early part of it i'll talk about how attentive they are after few minutes uh, they, some people are very very attentive looking at you and uh, that that's that you have to be looking at the audience okay and uh, if you see darkness because of uh, tension or on stage uh, fear that kind of feelings keep in mind that every speaker would first see only darkness and slowly the faces will emerge from the darkness and if you are seeing only darkness don't worry it is natural it is natural and more more time you spend like first minute second minute you will begin to see the faces very clearly even if you know lights are off uh it it's so unique that you can still see faces not as clearly as uh, when lights are on but you can begin to see faces which is very important that you as a speaker is supposed to talk to the audience and those who are listening to me from yesterday onwards and i was looking at every sections i i know these four people sitting here yesterday they were placed the right place and i know this uh, this block of people i also knew this block of people i was scanning different sections of the audience in almost like every 2 minutes my attention came to different blocks of the uh, auditorium it's important to look at them because you are speaking to them you are not speaking to the slide you are not speaking to the screen that is a negative body language if you turn and if you show your butt it's not good okay so turn to the uh, turning to this if for illustration you can do that but even even while you illustrate you use the pointer to tell which area of the text that you are focusing and keep looking at them so you you don't have you don't have a good body uh, language the, the, the so called non verbal communication if you turn 180 degree and do like arthi like of thing no use this is completely negative body language do not show your butt to the audience if you on the other hand if you want to tell some illustrative points clarify a few things on your graph or a figure you have this posture like you are still facing them but you are turning to illustrate something and then still you are talking to them okay this is very important talk to them uh, many students early on when they come on the stage and they they are so so prepared all text every line is known to them you know what they do they come to the stage and then they start looking at the sky roof and start speaking this is a very bad posture okay and because they they don't know either uh, number 1 that they should be looking at the audience or number 2 they are tense to look at people so they look at the look at the skies and stars and keep in mind that none of those stars are going to help you uh, for those half an hour they are not going to help even the gods will you know gods will stay there and tell you that hey you perform why are you looking at me you know what uh, all the uh, philosophical or all the religious texts would tell is that you are supposed to perform your duties like right? and you are on stage to perform your duties and that's not the time to pray hey bhagwan kripa de kripa kare all these things well, it's not required you are supposed to perform so do not look at the skies and stars and the roof and the lights you are supposed to look at the audience it's a very powerful message which i keep telling students that you are supposed to scan different sections of the audience okay that's important okay uh talk to the audience very important slides are meant for the audience okay because the content you already know what the content is audience do not know so let them look at the slide okay and audience uh, will look at the slide and you cannot read from the slide because you are supposed to know what is there in the slide right it doesn't make sense for you to read once again from the slide let the audience read and slides are only reinforcement tools to convey what you want to convey i i told yesterday that it's only an aid you are supposed to speak assume that the, the power supply had gone what will you do you will sweat because there is no fan and ac no you are not supposed to sweat you are supposed to speak 
that means without slide you are supposed to speak can you imagine a situation how terrifying it would be without slide i am supposed to speak so you also be prepared that without slide you can you have to speak and therefore slides are meant for the audience they will look at it as you speak it's an illustration it's an aid not you can't do you can't develop a dependency on slide if you are too dependent on slide that means you don't know the content you don't know the topic okay that's important now if you um, do not do this i talked about concentration curve yesterday so first few minutes that will be the case one one uh, person is sleeping and loud you know noisy snoring sleep and others are still attentive but if you do not follow the recommendations which i was giving in like you still talk to talk to the slide or you talk to the roof and gods then what would happen after few minutes this will be the case most people are sleeping and that is the time when they begin to make story on you i told yesterday uh, you know do you want to tell a story or you want to give an opportunity for people to make a story about you so the second case everybody knows that that teacher who is teaching is known for promoting sleepers okay in the class so people will be happy to go there after a heavy meal and they they all will be dosing down like this okay and we we see that very often in iit as well and what i do i get very very impatient if i see sleeping beauties in my class male or female beauty includes both okay so i i do not permit that and you typically the class is about you know 260 uh, 270 people and it's very hard to monitor that many number of people and uh, and worry about whether somebody is sleeping or not but i will tell you my policies in class are so much so that my students would write in the evaluation form that in sir's class i can't sleep and somebody uh, once uh, you know uh, swipe the attendance card we have a attendance uh, slide uh, the swiping card system so they they will have to do the fingerprint and swipe the card and one day when i was uh, standing at the door uh, somebody was running out of class when it was about to begin so the class starts at 11 o'clock and this guy is running out of class i asked like i followed them why are you running then uh, you know i found out the next day that sir i was very sleepy that day and you won't anyway let me sleep in the class so i went to hostel to sleep so people are like very very open in admitting that you know uh, this sir will not allow us to sleep in the class because it, it's a distraction for me as a teacher but if you uh, in a in a scientific talk if you don't practice how to do a good talk how to give a presentation most of the people will go to sleep and uh, you know you 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 would feel bit uh, disheartened to see that uh okay i will switch back to this so these are the better clear pictures and uh, this is what uh, is uh, going to be happening if you don't take care of uh, these and uh, you know keep them captive listening to you and i said that this the concept of coffee break uh, you know in between modulations demodulations those are all important now on stage next few minutes so we have gone through 30 seconds 45 seconds first one minute you have started speaking about introduction and uh, then uh, a typical situation that we found uh, we find in uh, academic setup is that you are giving a talk where your supervisor is in the front front row looking at you and you always fear that in front of your advisor you tend to be tend to make more mistakes and that's a fear that you have but you know on stage that's not the time to worry about how your advisor is going to judge you and how he is going to like it or dislike it do not worry about that and perhaps if your advisor is a tough guy don't even look at him that's a technique if advisor is a person who will shout at you for every small mistakes then don't look at him because that's going to unsettle your confidence don't look at him so he is sitting there i'm not going to look at him i will scan all other sections of the audience except him because i don't want to see him getting angry middle of the talk and then spoil rest of the talk so you don't want to take such risk do not look at the uh, advisor instead and there are many friendly advisors like me and my students will always look at me uh, so uh, even uh, you scan different sections of the audience you would begin to develop some kind of preference you know uh, sometimes some very beautiful ladies will be sitting at one end 
and then the scanning cannot be selective, that is also important. You cannot keep looking at only one half of the class, one half of the auditorium, you must be looking at other halves. Because if you do this, that scanning, talking to your friends, only your friends, then other, other people would think, what is he doing? And the questions will more come from that side. So, keep in mind that you have to scan and you know, uh, make sure that you are, you are talking to everyone, not to one person, your friend in the second row and I will speak only to him. So, that should not be the attitude. Uh, the reason for all these, you know, why do you talk to them, why do you look at their face and talk to them, what is important is that if you talk to, if you talk to me, I will forget. This is some kind of Chinese proverb I heard, but uh, I do not know the source of it, I should admit that. Uh, you talk to me, I will forget. You show me, I will understand. So, when I say show me, it implies showing video, showing picture, showing figure, uh, you know, showing something graphical for as a aid, because slides have those aids to illustrate your points. Okay. But the last thing is, if you involve me, I will understand, I will remember. So, you can make it a, a memorable experience, you can make people understand what you are speaking and you will also be able to make them remember what you said for long time, provided you involve them. How do you involve them? First by looking at them. If you look at the slide, no, nobody is going to involve, they are going to sleep, guaranteed. After 10 minutes, all will be sleeping. So, you talk, do not talk to the slides, instead talk to them, involve different sections of the audience and you interact with them. When you speak, you should speak as if I am talking to you. I am talking to you, I am talking to you. That makes a difference and that is the meaning of involve me. Because when a speaker is looking at you, you cannot say that, no, I am not interested, I am sleeping. No, it, it rarely happens. That is where you have to train yourself to speak to different faces, different sections of the audience, it is important, so that they will un understand, they will remember what you are speaking. Try to move around, now I have been moving around to take water, to move, to move around and that also gives you a, a way of relaxing and it, it gives a, a sense of control over the stage. You know, if you are so static like a statue, you know, uh, somebody yesterday during uh, question uh, like I, I got a lot of emails with uh, some questions, I will take a couple of them today. Uh, on stage should we move around or you should stay static? Uh, my opinion is that you must move around. Even though you have, you have this problem of controlling the computer keyboard or mouse, you return to that place when as and when required. But that should not dictate and decide that you must stay static in front of computer, that is not correct. So, you have to be moving around, take a few steps and use your arms. You know, I have a frozen shoulder, I cannot re really use my right arm, but use your arms to describe. Okay, if you have seen, you know, preachers uh, who preach Christianity, you know, they use their arms so effectively, you know, Lord, like they, when they say Lord, it is really like Lord, you know, Lord will come down, you know, that, that kind of passion. So, move your arms, move, walk around. Okay, it is important to have a good non-verbal communication. This I am indirectly answering a question which I received, what about on stage uh, actions, uh, so on and so forth. But in general, if you do not have uh, anything to show using your hand, you can always keep, if uh, uh, you know, uh, men can keep their hands uh, in pocket, it is a decent posture, decent posture. And uh, uh, you, you know, and do not keep your hands like this. You know, you are not a kaidi, okay? you are not, you are not caught for some offense. This is a bad posture. This is a posture good for uh, on stage in a school, but you are liberated from school, right? You are no longer in school. You are giving a talk. In, uh, in, in school, what they do? They, they will come and, you know, give a prayer like this and a speech like this or stay like this and give a talk, but that is not uh, what is expected of a grown up adult on stage talking about a story and talking about his own research findings or talking about literature. So, we cannot have this static postures of this kind military standards or, or, or this kind like in a school. These are not good, good postures. Have, have your hands moving around, uh, you know, that is that, important. Do not stand like a statue. 